new tonight, we're hearing from city leaders about the future of the Citadel Mall. They joined police and mall management to discuss the recent crime on the property. In the last few months, there have been several shootings at the Colorado Springs Mall. One of them on Christmas Eve was deadly. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is live outside the Citadel Forest tonight. Jared, those leaders say it's time for a change. Yeah, Adam, and the shared sentiment today at the meeting was to work together as a community. The goal to help put a stop to the violent crime that's occurring both in and around the Citadel Mall. Should it maybe have happened on a previous shooting? I mean, I, I guess you could have that conversation. But City Councilwoman Nancy Hengem says safety is now top of mind after a shooting inside the Citadel Mall last week. Officials also point to the mall being put on a list of off limits locations for military personnel. If a large portion of your population is no longer allowed to go into a place of business, that's when the economic community gets involved. Officials with the mall say they believe the first steps toward improving safety and security should include a look at their own policies and procedures. We're going to look to take care of any of the low hanging fruit items that can be you know, addressed immediately if it's things as far as like policy and procedure change. Some of the other potential changes mentioned include adding lights outside the building or even cameras that could be monitored by CSPD. One business owner says he has had customers stop coming in because they're concerned for their safety. I have had some customers who have told me that they do not feel safe. They've had incidences themselves, even outside the shooting. That representative from the mall says he'll be meeting tomorrow with officials to discuss some of those policies and procedures. The city is hosting a community meeting next month to discuss the Citadel Mall. Live in Colorado Springs, Jared Dean, KKTV 11 News. We'll keep following up on that conversation. Jared, thank you.